Episode 28, Coriander is a native of Dongqiu, and his life experience is different. Wu Dai knelt outside the door and pleaded with King Li for Qingkue, but King Li in the hall was unmoved. Ying Zhao wanted to help King Li solve the ridicule, but King Li disagreed, so he had to think again. Concubine Xue was worried about mocking the wind, so she resolutely went back to Xinyuan interface with Gu Hai Chao to meet King Li. Xue has been devoted to not fighting for power for many years, but she knows that the reason why King Li asked the three sons to compete for the heir is to choose a powerful person to lead Xinyuan Jia, so that Xinyuan will not be torn apart. Under Xue Qingxin's persuasion, King Li decided to let Xiao Feng die, and Gu Hai Chao hurried to Ling Hun Cave to inform Xiao Feng and Qing Kue. Concubine Shui hurriedly asked Su Shui to arrange a banquet to celebrate Xiao Feng's escape and Qing Kue and Xiao Feng's marriage. When they returned to Zhuixin Hall, they were surprised to see many heavenly artifacts hanging on the tree. Garuda explained that it was collected by His Royal Highness Wu Dai. He defeated many heavenly soldiers, and every time he defeated one, he would collect the opponent's magic weapon and hang it here, just wanting to prove that he is stronger than Xiao Feng. Qingkui noticed that Garuda's tone was a bit sour, so she asked her if she had a crush on Adai. Garuda was embarrassed to be guessed, but he still admitted it. There are many intrigues and conspiracies in Xinyuan's world, and Garuda has never found anyone as pure and kind as His Royal Highness. Xuancheng came to the school bag, taught them spells, and said in person that he would relieve everyone of their heavy schoolwork. Taking advantage of the opportunity of handing in his homework, Yetan passed a note to Xiao Dian Yuqin and asked him to meet at Tian Peiwen after dinner. Seeing Yi Tan's obsession with cultivation, Xiao Dian Yuqin opened a small stove for her alone and taught her how to dance the sword. The two were very close, and they both had that kind of thought in their hearts, while Xian Shang was very restrained, and he still didn't stay in Tian Peiwen after all. Yi Tan felt that Xuancheng should not be able to do without the blessing of Jianmu fruit. On the second day, Yetan waited for a long time in Tian Peiwen but couldn't wait for Xuancheng, so he took the initiative to find him who was distributing stars. Xiaodian Yuqin taught her how to set up the magic circle, and the relationship between the two took a step forward. Neon Shangshan found that the sky was very strange tonight, and he didn't understand the reason. Until Xiao Dian Yuqin came to her, he wanted her to urge him to marry Yetan. Ni Hong suddenly realized that she couldn't hide her joy, and rushed to Tian Peiwen in a hurry. Qing Heng already knew that the coriander was the one he had watered back then, so he gave all the scrolls and notes to the coriander, and asked her why she refused to recognize him and always avoided him. Coriander has difficulties, so keep silent. Until Coriander left, Qing Heng still kept looking at her back, Ziwu asked after seeing her, and Qing Heng immediately understood that he actually liked Coriander. But he was hesitant, not sure if Coriander liked him. He went to Hu Xian to confess his love, but found that Hu Xian left late at night, Qing Heng followed and saw her trespassing on the Xian Huang realm of Ling Hu Patriarch. Coriander wants to get the magic weapon and touches the magic circle set up by Ling Hu Patriarch. Fortunately, Qing Hung arrives in time, otherwise Coriander will die here. The three immortal masters just came back, and Qing Heng performed a play, so that the three patriarchs did not have any doubts. Back in the palace, Qing Heng questioned again, Hu Xian had no choice but to tell the whole story, she was originally from Dongqiu, and the reason why she wanted to go to the Jeweling Xian Lantern was because it contained the dead souls of her people. Qing Heng was very shocked, because it was rumored that Dong Qiu wanted to use the Earth Vein Ziji to drive back to the ruins, and the Four Realms joined forces to kill Dong Qiu. Coriander told him that the rumors were all false, because Dong Qiu had the Earth Vein Ziji, which made the Four Worlds afraid, so they joined forces to kill Dong Qiu. If she hadn't sent a wisp of remnant soul on a coriander tree, she would have died in Dongqiu long ago. Qing Heng could explain it to her father, but Hu Xian had already seen that the Emperor of Heaven was a human being, and when Qing Heng told the matter, her death would not be far away. <laughs>